How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And wow, I have done a lot of progression on my main playthrough. This is my second save file. I don't know if I've really explained that well to you guys, but I play through the game on a different save file and I'm way ahead. I'm actually almost done with the game on my first save. And what that's done is it's made me a lot better at the game and now I can uh, just be better at show at fighting and I found a lot of secrets and stuff as well uh, so before we continue on where we left off I actually want to show you uh, something that I discovered what a fail alright so we just want to kill these guys really quick no big deal right and uh, remember this item up here that I did not know how to get right up there well, I figured out how to get it now. Ooh, hi. Wow. I wanted to practice my Makari counter, and it just didn't work. So now you're just going to die the old-fashioned way, bud. All right. So go ahead and grapple up here. Uh, we're going to grapple to the right. We're not going to fight any of these guys. Don't worry. Just go ahead and drop down the path over here. So remember I was talking about this guy down this way that you can't really kill right now? I mean, I guess you can kill him. Uh, he inflicts terror damage, which does a lot of damage. We're just going to go ahead and jump and grab onto that ledge. Sounds crazy, right? But it works. I guess it's possible to kill this uh, headless dude in here, but I have not even tried it on my main playthrough, let alone this one. Uh, we're going to level up our attack and a bunch of other stuff later on, so there's not really a need to fight him right now. But what we are going to do is we're going to run right by him. There's a couple caves behind him. Some of the caves lead to items. And I believe one even leads to a idol. Just go ahead and drop down. Yeah, he's right there. Just go ahead and ignore him for now. Actually, no, my bad. All right, let's run in this cave right here before we die. There's at least two caves in here. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, the cave to the secret. So just go ahead and boop. But I believe there's another cave that we're going to go check out as well that leads to some items. So here we are. We're going to kill one of these guys. They're pretty easy to kill, actually. You're going to fight a lot more of those guys later on in the game, too. Go ahead and grab that black gunpowder. That's an upgrade material we're going to use later on as well. And boom, we're in Senpao Temple. What? This is an area way ahead. <laughs> but we're here. Ooh, actually, that, that reminded me. I, I did grind uh, five skill points. And I saved it so I could do this while I was showing you guys. So what I want to do is I actually want to unlock Emma's Medicine. Uh, this is the final rank. It'll basically mean uh, all our recovery items will do more recovery so it'll heal us for more when we do Estus and all that stuff um, all right so what this does is if you ring the bell it'll actually give you an item which makes the game even harder I know right this game's already insanely difficult um, but it'll also give you better drops supposedly so give us the Bell Demon. Uh, the Bell Demon confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. So it's in our inventory now. It'll actually make the game harder. Um, if you don't want to have that on you, you can just go ahead and uh, use this item and it'll just take it right off of you. So, and then I'm pretty sure you could just ring the bell and get it again if you really wanted. Uh, let's go actually go ahead and go back in here though. Uh, yeah, let's open... No, we can't! We can't open those doors! Okay, well, apparently we need a key to open that door. I don't remember which key, but we'll get that eventually. Um, once we open that door, that's basically where you get that item that you saw earlier. I'm pretty sure, unless this other cave goes to it. I don't remember which cave, I just know it's one of these. Let's go try to get that other cave. Wow, that was weird. Alright, I know there's another cave... If we die, we die. No big deal. 
I'm pretty sure it's up here. Hmm. Maybe not. I could have sworn there was another cave behind this guy. His terror also makes you slower, which really sucks. That's the cave we went in. Okay, he's really trying to kill me. Ah, here it is. Almost couldn't see it. So yeah, just go ahead and grapple up here. There's a cave right there, but let's go over here first. Uh, don't, yep, let's grapple up here. Yeah, this is actually where you get the item. That's right. I knew it was in one of these. Just go ahead and grapple all the way up. We're going to do a leap of faith here. All this just to get that item. And you're, you're asking yourself, is it worth it? What item? What is the item? Oh, watch out for the poison lizard. The item is not really worth it, but we'll go ahead and grab that. But just to say that we got all the items, you know what I mean? I hate seeing an item in there. Let's grab the antidote powder. That's useful. And let's grab the divine grass. That's actually really useful. Basically cures all ailments and heals you. And now we can unlock this door that was previously locked. Boom. So now we have the shortcut unlocked. Here we are. Right where we started, basically. Uh, but there was one other area that I could have actually explored. So why don't we actually just head on back? There was that cave that we could have went in. I believe it goes to an idol. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I don't really remember exactly. Oh, God. Can I make that jump? I hope so. Oh yeah, barely. Barely got it. Alright. Where's the cave? Back down in here. Back down here. Alright, let's swing a left and go up this cave this time. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Definitely am here. This game's really good. Oh no, this is just a dead end. That's just a dead end, I forgot. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much all we had to do to explore there. So let's go ahead and warp back and continue the playthrough. So we're going to head to Harada Estates, which is where we left off. There's a mini boss that we're going to fight, and then there's also a main boss. And the main boss is... I guess it's optional? I don't remember, but you if you kill her, she will... Uh, we don't want to go here. That's so funny, we're in Senpao Temple. It's like, we're not going to go there for quite a while. Uh, let's go to Arata Estate Main Hall. But if you kill any main bosses, uh, they give you an item which increases your attack power, which is what we got when we killed... Uh, forget his name, the horse riding dude with the spear. He's the only main boss we've defeated in this playthrough. On my other playthrough, I've defeated like four or five main bosses, so quite a bit further. All right. The mini bosses, they give you a prayer bead every time, which is really, really useful. As you know, you get four prayer beads. You can level up your health and posture. That was really bad on my part. That's all right. All right, so there's a ton of dudes up here. Uh, what we want to do is try to take them out one by one if possible. Uh, if not, you know, whatever. We'll just fight the whole group. I kind of actually just want to run in here. Let's do it. Okay, I can't run in there. Whatever. Alright, so we got the attention of some of these guys. I think if we can pull them over here, it'd be a little easier. You want to come over here, man? I'm over here, dude. You don't see me? Come on. I'm right here. Gosh, that archer is so annoying, dude. Uh, let's just bring them around the corner here so we can fight them without the archer constantly shooting us. Get some health back. Just slowly clear these guys out. Uh, 
You actually could skip a lot of these guys, but it's... I think it's best if we kill them. He's like, shooting me as fast as he can. Alright, we killed all these guys, now let's go ahead and explore inside of these rooms. I believe there's some items we can grab. Divine Confetti is nice. Found ya. A little bit of Dark Souls element of surprise there. Any more guys in here we can kill? Let's see if I can... Uh, nope. Sometimes you see those little walls, you just want to test them out. Can I break these? Yeah. That's what I thought. Anything else in here? Hey. Dowsing powder. Nice. Puts out flames, I believe. Alright, I think that's about all there was in here. Just do a little bit of exploring. I want to go in there and get that... Can we, can we go? Nah. Alright, whatever. I think that's the idol we already got, anyways. Alright, so straight ahead is uh, the boss, or the mini boss rather. You can barely see him up there. He's got a really big sword. Let's grab that, I guess. I actually just want to follow this uh, path over here. Just making sure we're not going to skip anything here. Nope, nothing over here. Uh, the cool thing about this mini boss is uh, you can actually recruit like a friend to help you out. This is the guy right here. Uh, I'm gonna wait to talk to him real quick. Let me just heal a little bit, just because uh, I want to clear out some more enemies first. So let's clear out the rooms on the left, shall we? Hey, bud. If you don't, I think some of these guys might join in on the battle when you're fighting the boss, and that's not what we want. That can make a difficult fight even more difficult, if you know what I mean. So I might be able to grab some of these guys' attention with the uh, shuriken. Eh, maybe not. We'll get those guys. Don't worry about it. Let's come up here first. Alright, so the boss? Okay, he sees me. He is not happy either. Didn't want to catch his uh, attention yet. Let's see if we can just drop the aggro. Might be able to drop aggro. Yep, sweet. Dropped aggro. No problem. How the heck did he get up there, dude? That That's crazy. Alright, we actually do want to go in there. Looks like there's a item right there. Let's go ahead and jump up here. Can I get this item right here? That would be awesome. How? How do we get in there? I think we actually gotta go inside this path. I'm pretty sure we can also get a sneak attack in on the boss, which would also help kill uh, some of these guys. I'm just going to sneak this time, that way he won't see me, maybe. This is how I beat him the first time. First time I fought this guy, I actually beat him first try. Which is pretty awesome. Hopefully I can do that again. Alright, I did not want to do it like this, so I'm actually going to run away and despawn the boss. Oh, good! I wanted to go up those stairs. Oh, well. Run away! I'm not even worried about the health either because, like, we should be able to beat this dude, no problem. Oh, 
Oh my. He doesn't know where we are. He's gonna reset. I think. Maybe if we just keep running away. Yeah, that'll reset him. But we can go kill this enemy over here, which helps. Actually heals us a little bit too. Alright, so I think we killed out, like, pretty much all the enemies, I think. So now we should be able to backstab the boss, and then I'm gonna run and get the help from the samurai, dude. I wanna get that item inside there, maybe I- Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is, guys. I know how to get it. We gotta kill the boss first. Okay, so we're ready to take on the boss. I'm gonna go ahead and try to backstab him here now that we've cleared out all the guys. And you can see that because I got his aggro a couple times and reset, he's actually like in the middle now, not like right next to the door. So actually makes it pretty easy to backstab him. Uh, the first time I died uh, fighting him because I backstabbed him and it took half of his health. Then I went to get the help of the samurai. And by doing that, it actually reset his health and he was at full health again, which really sucked. I got him all the way down to his final sliver of health on his last and I died. And my samurai dude died. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to be a little bit better. What I'm going to try to do is backstab him and then bring him a little closer to the samurai before I get him to ask for help. That way uh, hopefully he doesn't reset. Let's just bring him over here a little bit. Come on over here, fatty. Stop drinking so much. Alright. Alright, let's do it, bud. Now he's at half health. Ow. Could really use your health right now, samurai dude. When he has that uh, symbol go on him, you really want to jump every time. And just try to stay behind him as much as you can. Ow, dude. He almost one-shotted me. Samurai dude, where you at? Oh my god, I tried to time that and it was horrible. That was close. There we go. There we go, baby. Got him. Got the unrefined sake, a prayer bead, heck yeah. So that's what I was trying to do the first time when I died and lost over a thousand money. Anyways. That was... <laughs> That was hard on this old body, he said. Thank you, dude. I wish that you would help me on uh, the next boss because she's way harder. Okay, uh, so let's go through the doorway that he was guarding. Now that he's dead, we can go in here. And there is a... Uh, where is it? Right here. There's an idol right here, which is very useful because it's right before the boss, which is literally right down that hallway. Um, let's go ahead and rest. Now... Before we go on to the next boss, uh, let's talk to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, let's actually get the items. Any more items over here? I don't think there is. Uh, a lot of these uh, things you can cut, actually. All right. So 
Is it in here? Yeah, in here. Okay, hi guys. Hi, how's it going? Go ahead and cut those out. Go ahead and grab the items here. And you might think that's all that's in here are these items, but in fact, there's a secret. If I can remember where it is. Hold on. I think it's... Ah, here we go. Right here by this oil, go ahead and hug this wall. Boop! Little secret door. To some more loot. Including... Light coin purse. And last but not least, a chest. With another prayer bead. That's right, guys. Prayer beads are found in chests here and there throughout the game. Grab the divine confetti. A lot of loot in this little area before we fight the next boss. So the next boss, where is it? Right here? How do I get back? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> next boss is Lady Butterfly. Lady Butterfly is not as nice as her name would imply. Um, she's actually very, very difficult. Uh, it took me many tries to beat her. I'm hoping I can beat her first try. That would be nice. Uh, but it's probably not going to happen. So <laughs> um, when I uh, do beat her, it's going to be the, pl the playthrough that I actually show you guys. There's only one guy right here. So let's go ahead and talk to them. I wouldn't go in there. So he gives you a snap seed. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. Because you don't need to. Um, we can go ahead and use Snapseed, and uh, I'm probably just gonna, probably just gonna not use it. Uh, basically what it does is, after you get her halfway dead, um, she, I don't know if I open this, it'll, if it'll go into the fight, um, so I'm just gonna talk for a second. Let's go over some boss strategies. So basically, Lady Butterfly is the type of boss that's gonna be attacking you relentlessly. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of spin attacks, and you're going to want to try to parry as many as you can just spamming the parry button, okay? Uh, after you get her dead the first time, she actually resurrects, and this is where the snap seeds come in, because she starts summoning all these phantoms. Now, you can kill the phantoms pretty easy in one or two hits, but Lady Butterfly is going to be flying around shooting things at you the whole time. Uh, what you can do is just run around until the phantoms disappear after like 10 seconds and then you can just keep fighting her again and she'll periodically summon the phantoms again uh but you can just run around again the only downside of that is when you're running around her posture is gonna pretty much reset and that's basically how we want to kill her is going through her posture so it's a hit or miss if you don't want to uh let her posture go down then you can use a snap seed and that'll uh it'll take out most of the phantoms if they're really close to you but if they're not that close to you it won't take them out that's why it's not that great i would like i would use a snap seed for sure if they actually if it actually took them all out in the room so that's about it um with that let's go ahead and give it a shot this is the key that our uh, father gave us up in the burning area and this will trigger the cutscene, which will go into the boss fight it's the divine heir who I'm supposed to protect. I don't know why she wants to kill me. I think, like, everybody wants the Divine Heir bloodline because he, he has the immortal blood just like I do. But I don't know that they know that I'm immortal as well. I don't know. Looks like, it's, it just seems like as I'm going through the game, all these people used to be my friend and now they're not. I'm not really sure. They don't do a good job of storytelling in this game, unfortunately. Okay, so here we go. Um, also, you might want to use shurikens. When she jumps up in the air, you can knock her down with the shuriken, and that's very useful as well. If you have the upgraded spinning shurikens, even better.
All right, guys. So this is actually the third time I'm fighting her. Uh, she killed me. I got really, really close the first try. But both times I died, it wasn't even because of her directly. It was because after she summons all her phantoms in phase two, when they disappear, she sends like a swarm of 100 butterflies. And I keep getting hit by that. You just have to really run around the outside edge and not get hit. I don't know why I'm getting hit by it, because I never really did on the, my, my other save file. I'm getting pretty good at beating her in this first phase, though. Knock her down with my own shurikens. Really does a lot of posture damage if you can do that. Got her. And that's the best way to fight her is to get her in a corner, to be honest. Didn't use my resurrect. Didn't use very many healing items either, so we're doing pretty good. She's going to spawn right here, and we can just go ahead and hit her a few times. It doesn't really matter because she's going to summon things, and I don't want to fight her right now, so actually I'm just going to run around. Oh my god, I'm actually taking too much damage for those things. Alright, let's run around and make sure that those things don't actually hit me. Woo! Alright. Oh, I tried to jump, but it wouldn't let me. I don't want to fight her yet. Let's wait until she sends all these butterfly things at me. Whew. All right. I don't think she'll do that again. Getting really close now, guys. There it is. Didn't even have to resurrect, baby. Die! Forgive me. She attacked me first. <sighs> that sigh of relief after finally killing somebody that's so freaking hard. Congratulations, if you managed to beat Lady Butterfly, you can probably beat the game, because honestly, she's one of the hardest bosses in the game in my opinion so far, and I've 
beaten almost the entire game. So with her beating, it's kind of like a test. Like if you can beat her, like I said, you could probably beat the rest of the game. Um, and also this is the type of game where the further you go, the easier it gets in a way because we're going to get more and more attack power, more and more health, more and more healing items, all that good stuff. Yeah, this part's kind of weird. I still don't really know who stabbed him. But, uh... Yeah, so with Lady Butterfly dead, we're actually going to increase our attack power, which is going to be awesome. Hope you guys are enjo enjoying the playthrough. I definitely am. I love playing these games for you guys. Something different other than Brawlhalla. If you are watching me for Brawlhalla, uh, that's awesome, dude. Thank you for watching this video, too. And if you didn't know, you're just watching me for Sekiro. Yeah, I do Brawlhalla vids. It's a free-to-play fighting game. It's really fun. Kind of like Super Smash Bros. Notice his hair isn't, like, really falling the way it should be. It's all right. I forgive you from software. Hair physics are hard. So, I don't know who stabbed me in the back. Uh, because Lady Butterfly, you saw, she literally disappeared into dust. I don't know if that blade just, like, fell from the sky or what, but... Yeah. Apparently the Divine Air heals me. Boom. Whoa, Emma. <whistles> nice glitch in right there that was interesting <laughs> all right sweet so before we end the video let's go ahead and uh heal up here first of all second of all increase attack power enhance attack power to level three baby remnant lady butterfly the battle memory of an extraordinary foe although distant recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf the Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors. She was literally one of my mentors? Then why did she attack me? Like, I don't understand that. These mentors employed strict methods. Cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. So, basically, the student has surpassed the teacher. Alright, so I still want to save my skill points, I feel like. Um... Like, all these I don't really use that much, I'll be honest. I'm like almost done with the game. I don't use Night I don't use Nightjar Slash or Fang and Blade. Uh or that one. Uh what does become useful is uh your uh spirit emblems. Uh because sometimes you're fighting a boss and you really want to use like the Shurikens, for example, and you just run out of spirit emblems, so this can be useful. Um, also, your sneak ability is kind of useful, so I don't know. I think I'll just level up this one uh, just so I can have maxed out, kind of. Actually, it's not maxed out. You can do more uh, right here. It's kind of weird. So I think now I can hold 17. Yeah. doesn't go up by very much, but, you know. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, this is Lucian Sword. I really hope to see you in the next video. This is pretty cool. Uh, bamboo forest right here and uh, we're gonna pick up right where we left off in the next video of the Sekiru playthrough if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one guys this is Lucian Sword take it easy